hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here please click on that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and share my channel with all of your friends so that you can as well subscribe so today i am going to be visiting a restaurant called daddy bangalore so weird right <laughs> anyways you guys are going to be going there with me we'll eat together we'll see what the place looks like and i'll give my review hopefully i'll be allowed to use my camera there and if not i'll have to switch to my phone um let me show you my outfit for the day so this is the outfit of the day i have this cute bag from aldo my jacket i wore this for my birthday dinner um so i'm pairing it with this jean that i got from this boyfriend jean i got it from h and m from h and m and um this jacket was made by ndima and my bag is from aldo of course and yeah that's just it so let's go guys and of course my shoes are from my shoe is from zara and yeah so that's what i'm working with today nothing too serious The exterior, the environment is looking so nice. There is a valet service, so if you're coming here with your car, be sure that your car is safe. The restaurant itself is on the second floor, and there are so many arts and paintings going on as well. I'm just sitting here trying to see what the design looks like. I'm trying to position my camera. I'm not sure at this point. I wasn't sure if cameras are allowed inside. So this is the bar. They have different wines, different alcohol for you. I like the structure, the way everything was arranged. There are like different sections. But one problem I have with it is the lightning. Everywhere looked not exactly dark, but it wasn't bright and shiny they have they used the orange lights they didn't use uh, so much of white light so it had this cozy vibe like uh somewhere you want to go with your boyfriend your husband your girlfriend or your wife you know uh for a proper dinner uh, now talking about the menu they have the fresh dishes but mostly indian food they have salads they have um, different kinds of rice they had soups and the prices are really friendly it's not really on the expensive side so if you go to the bangalore to have a dinner or lunch with a friend be sure that you would not have to spend so much and you get satisfied actually because the food tasted nice i'd give the food a seven over ten because i actually ordered the uh chicken fried rice the mixed fried rice actually it had pounds in it and i am not a great fan of seafood so i didn't actually enjoy it and actually they allowed me use my they allowed me use my camera when i asked but i had already finished and I'm just going to go home at that point. So probably when next I go, I wouldn't have to sneak to use my camera. <laughs> I'd use it properly. So I'm just here waiting for my food. Bringing the food didn't really take time. After I made my order, um, I had to wait for, I think, about 10 minutes for them to bring the food. And now one problem the food had was that the chicken, the eggs, the prawns, 
um, it wasn't tasting fresh. It tasted like uh, it was preserved in some kind of way. And, you know, they just reheated it just to serve it to me. I didn't taste that freshness in it. I don't know, maybe it was just for that day, but that was what the meal tasted like. And the starts were nice. They were warm and friendly. Yes. So here comes my food, my mixed fried rice, which tasted so dry, sorry. And I ordered chicken as well, great chicken with pineapple flavor or something, something. And for my drink, I ordered the virgin pina colada, uh, which was actually nice. I think this would be like the second nicest pina colada I've had since I've been in India. So I just sat down to eat. The ambience was nice. There was music, which was not too loud. Um, yeah, Western music, of course, not Indian music. Everyone was nice. And I went during the festive season. I went on the 26th of December. So it was a bit crowded. And I think I was like the only black person there. And you know how Indians can get to. Everyone was looking at me, but... I'm used to it, you know, as per Beyonce. <laughs> so I didn't mind. I just had my food. And uh, the restaurant is actually on the second floor. Now there is another part which they open up in the evening. That part is at the terrace. It's, you know, what terrace is like. It's like an open floor. So there, there was more um, flowers. There was sunlight at that point when I went there. But they usually open it by 6 p.m. aesthetics here is so nice the sun the flowers the plants the mini bar you know the sun is going to give your pictures and your videos a different kind of vibe like that would make your pictures pop and your videos pop as well but unfortunately this part of the restaurant does not open until 6 p.m and i had already finished eating i couldn't wait till 6 p.m so i just had to go but if you have plans of if you have plans of going to this restaurant, make sure you go around 6 p.m. so you can be at this part. Trust me, guys, this part looks so great, and you have fresh hair. You have the you have paintings on the wall that looks very nice, and yeah, of course, I told you guys I went during a uh, Christmas period. That's the day after Christmas, so they still add all their decorations and stuff there. So yeah, that's it. And um, now I am on my way back home. I had a nice time here. I'd say I'll overall give them a 7 over 10. So that's it, guys. See you at the next restaurant, which I will be reviewing. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video with all of your friends. See you next time. Bye, friends.